Hey everybody, today we're going to make a fireplace scene uh, in Cinema 4D uh, using X Particles 4. We're going to be using the Explosia FX uh, to make a kind of a slow fire. Um, and we will be rendering that in uh, Cycles 4D. So let's hop in. Okay, we're in S22. Let's bring in uh, a cube. And let's resize this down. Okay, and let's turn the fillet on, and that's about good for now. Let's create our material, and this we will load in a noise to our luminance channel. Let's make the scale about 325-ish, and change it to electric and we can turn on our high quality noises so we have a better idea of what that looks like in our scene and let's bring up our low clip a little bit so it's going to emit where it is white and not all over the place so that's what we want for our log uh, let's just shrink it down And then let's just angle it. So we're just gonna do one log for now. That's it. All right, now let's bring in our system. We are gonna need an emitter, but not at the moment. Uh, we're gonna make our cube, hit shift C, bring up the commander and type in uh, um, source and we wanna do an explosion FX source. Um, so we, we, yeah, this is going to be our, our source here. So let's just, let's just build the rest out and then we'll change the settings here. So let's bring in our explosion effects and let's bring it up. So add some more frames and then straight away we have, we have that going there. Um, let's increase the resolution in our uh, the level of detail of our voxels okay so right off the bat this is just a lot of fire coming off of this log so we want to restrict this in some way so for that we click onto our source and in our fuel you can twirl this down and let's bring in this tag that we made and then let's try it again Okay, so let's sh let's uh, kind of show this be a little better here. Um, I'm gonna move one over to the left. Let's make another one. We'll call this log tag, and this one will just be log. So in this, we will remove that tag, and then we'll move this over so we can see the difference of the smoke that's coming out of this, the smoke and fire. Okay, so it would be helpful if we uh, get all of our settings kind of how we want. So we want 200% fuel for now on these. And we want our, hop back into our solver, uh, our, I mean our domain and let's change a couple settings here. So we want our um, vorticity uh, to be about 10 and we want our smoke to go away pretty quickly and our heat to somewhat go away and same with our dissipation. And then let's try again. So we can already see right off the bat, this has a lot more fire. Um, and you may, you may want that, but um, let's now uh, switch over to cycles and take a look at rendering this. So cycles has all these uh, pre-made uh, materials. Um, so we can go into our burn and smoke nature and put this right onto our domain. Okay, and then let's bring in 
um, let's, let's bring in just this a uh, yeah, disk for now just bring it up and create a surface a mission so we want to be able to see oops, see our smoke okay the last thing that we'll do is we will increase our uh, in our explosion effects we'll will increase our uh, ignition heat to be about 0.75 maybe so you can see there, I mean, there's there's a lot more here. We can even change this a little bit and uh, we can knock this back. So there's a little bit more, um, you know, it's a little bit brighter and a little bit more fire will come out, increase the contrast up a little bit. Um, so you can essentially just art direct how much uh, fire you want to come out by adjusting adjusting that but it's it breaks it up it's not going to be just you know fully on the entire log okay and that's looking pretty good here um, so let's uh, let's just add in our uh, our particles now so we'll turn on our emitter we'll go into object and this is going to be like the embers flying off so we will go to uh, we'll go to object here, and we'll drag in our log. I'm actually going to just kill this log for now. I don't need that anymore. Let's center this one back up. And we want to emit from the polygon area. And let's just do uh, five with a variation of five, and let's do it per frame. This can all be adjusted. Let's not have any speed. Radius will set to one, but we're gonna we can affect that with uh, with cycles a little later. Uh, and then in our explosion, let's turn on advection, advect particles. We don't want to evect anything except for the velocity of these particles. So if we hide hide that, we'll see our particles kind of starting to billow up. Um, and we just, we don't want them to live the entire time. So let's turn off full lifespan and let's do 25 with 25 variation. How's that look? Uh, let's do 50 with 25 variation and just kind of get them uh, get them going here a little further. In our display, we can select just a random from a gradient and then let's just load in uh, load in this heat, maybe three. And we don't really want black uh, or that really white. So we'll just kind of distribute them a little better. Drag this one over and make that dark again. So now it's just going to be a random color from, from that gradient. Okay, now we want to render these particles, so let's put on a uh, cycles instance tag and let's play that and let's turn off, uh, let's hide our smoke again real quick. So we can vary the size of these particles probably only need about five radius, I mean five segments of there, and let's, yeah, maybe make a hundred percent size variation. So we have just different different size uh, embers flying off of here. And then 
let's uh, turn on our motion blur. So let's assign cycles as our render. Turn on motion blur. And you're, you're going to want to cache this simulation before it's going to work if you're going to actually render it. You can still see it in the viewport, though. Let's turn on motion blur. Let's make a cycles camera. Look in there and turn on our motion blur. Pause that. And then let's turn on our smoke. OK, give this a couple seconds. OK, let's adjust the, the motion blur on our particles here. So let's put a cycles object tag and then motion blur motion blur and let's increase the subframes the the steps of the and clean clean that up we don't i don't think we need it on the the fire looked fine so i'm just gonna uh you know per object increase these steps okay so let's just up res this a little bit let's increase our voxel size by one and just get a little bit more detail and then that should that should do it Okay, maybe we can chill out this smoke a little bit. Let's just pause that. And then in our, um, this is our smoke here. Let's, you know, chill this out to like maybe five and maybe 10. Okay, and there we go. So the motion blur on the particles still needs some work. Uh, you can change the life a little bit, have them be a little shorter. Uh, I think they should be a darker orange. Um, but overall, happy with that. All right, that's about it. Uh, I think the big takeaway is uh, to make sure you put that uh, luminance material tag uh, into the fuel section uh, on your uh, source, um, and that will help really break up the uh, the fire, and it's just a lot more realistic and natural that way. Uh, so, yep, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below, and I will see you in the next one.